Hi everyone, it's Amber from The Sensible Mama. Today I'm here doing kind of an impromptu video because I just got my Kristen's Cut Up Shop, if that's the name, um, Black Ops Beast Sporty, and I have been so excited for this to get here and to share it with you guys. I nearly missed out on release night, actually. It's been almost a year since I've shopped through the Jujube website, and although I'm the person who, at every limited release, is out there telling you guys the tips for making sure that you score, you know, make sure you're logged into PayPal, make sure you have the correct shipping address listed, you know, like, I don't know how I screwed up so bad this time, but like, I was a hot mess. Release time came, it was midnight, uh, my time, I'm in Eastern Standard Time. Um, I was not logged into PayPal. I did manage to log into my Jujubee account, but I failed to remember that uh, my old address was listed there for shipping, so I frantically go to add this bag to my cart. This was all I really wanted from the release. Um, so I, I add it to my cart, I go to check out with PayPal, and then I realize I'm not logged in. And then there's this whole cascade of a mess happened after that. And the whole time I'm like kind of frustrated with myself and kind of amused with the fact that the girl with all the tips for how to make sure you score almost didn't score. And I was pretty sure I wasn't going to. <laughs> so when I actually got the shipping confirmation for this bag, I was really, really excited because, like I said, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to get it. So this is a very special bag. This is the only Be Sporty that has been made that's not in a Toki print. This time, um, with the Cut Up Shop release that they did, they had some um, Hello Kitty prints and this Black Ops print that were available in the Be Sporty. My heart was crushed that there was no Donatella Sweet Shop Be Sporty, especially now that I know that I'm having a little girl, but it's whatever. I got my Black Ops Sporty, so that's all that matters. Um, so today what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you the bag, what I love about it, and how I have it packed today so that you can kind of get a sense for what it looks like and how awesome this bag really is. Um, I always loved the Black Ops print, and I loved the black hardware, but the reason why I didn't buy it was because it had that red pinstripe lining, which was not my favorite with this bag. I love it on Black Widow, um, but, but not on this one. So of course, this bag actually has black magic lining in it, and I just could not be happier with how it turned out. My first question when I got the bag was whether or not the mommy pocket and the two bottle pockets were going to have the black magic lining, so that was the very first thing that I opened up. And sure enough, yes, you do get the black magic lining in the mommy pocket as well as in the bottle pockets, which really surprised me. I was not expecting to uh, see black magic in here. I actually thought I was going to see like the champagne color that they put in a lot of the bottle pockets, so I was really pleased with that. Um, if you guys follow my channel, you know that I'm more of a Be Right Back fan. Traditionally, that, that tends to be the bag that I go for, but I've been de-stashing my Be Right Backs lately and choosing the Be Sporty instead, because I do think it's a really fantastic bag. Um, and I just could not be happier with it in this Black Ops print either. You get a solid black backpack strap, which I really love. It just goes with everything. And of course, you get the Black Ops a uh, changing pad with the black magic lining on the inside. So they were at least very consistent everywhere in the bag. You know, all of the lining, everything had the black magic print, which was fantastic. So I decided to pack this up today to go out to do some shopping with my mom. Um, in the front zipper pocket, I just kept some tissues and of course my pill case. Um, I thought that the best prints to go with this print, since I don't really have much black ops, was to go with black petals and happy hearts. <laughs> I always get rad hearts and happy hearts confused. So I have two small set pieces in here. The first one is my wallet. This is a black petals small set piece. And inside of here, I have it packed the way I always do. I have a Duchess Be Charged and a Black Ops coin purse that I had from the actual release night when I went to a trunk show. That was before I was a retailer. And in the Happy Hearts print, I have a little medical kit. I was able to fit everything in here that is usually in my small Be Organized piece. The only thing that I could not fit was my son's uh, sunscreen, and we didn't actually need that today, so it worked out just fine. Oh, on the outside of the bag, I did put my Sweet Scarlet Passy Pod. I know Sweet Scarlet isn't everyone's favorite, but I do think that it looks fantastic with Black Ops. Here's a shot of how the inside of the bag is all packed up. I absolutely love the way that black petals and happy hearts look inside of here, especially because with that black and white lining on the inside, you need something that has enough contrast that it still pops out and you don't, your eyes don't get all confused, but you want it to kind of go with the monochrome theme. 
at least that's what I wanted. So the first thing that I have in here is a large set piece. This actually had my son's um, Bibiole snuggle blanket inside of it. It is out now because he's upstairs taking a nap and he wanted it with him. So I had that sitting down in the bottom. Next I had a large set piece and again this is in the black petals print and this just had changes of clothes for my son. I pulled my black petals be quick out of the other diaper bag that I have been using this week which was my itsy ritzy triple threat convertible diaper bag. Um, I just did a video on that bag. I'll put it up above but this is packed the way I always have it packed for cloth diapering. Two cloth diapers a wet bag, a wipe pouch, and my baby powder. Tucked down inside the two mesh pockets of the bag were two medium set pieces. Again, in the prints that I chose this week, which were uh, Happy Hearts and Black Petals. And the first one is packed for snacks. So I do have an Itsy Ritzy snack bag in here with some dry foods, and then a couple of other little bars and snacks um, that I might be grabbing from as well. And the last thing in here is the medium set piece in the Happy Hearts print. And this was packed with restaurant needs in case we decided to stop at a restaurant. I did forget to mention what I had in the side bottle pockets. In one, I had my son's uh, Contigo sippy cup. It fits really great inside the B Sporty. And then on the other side, I actually, I didn't bring a water bottle with me today. So what I put in there instead is the B Sporty um, seatbelt strap. I don't tend to use the seatbelt strap when I'm carrying the Beast Sporty, I'm kind of short and this just hangs weird on me um, when I wear it messenger style or over the shoulder. But I do like to have this in case I want to sling this over my stroller. It does make a really nice kind of um, hanger to put this on the stroller. So I was just keeping this over here in the side bottle pocket in case I needed it. All right, you guys, that's it for this quick overview and packing video of the Be Sporty in the Black Ops print. Um, I know you guys know what a Be Sporty looks like on the body, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video with a quick on the body so that you can see how this print looks. Um, <laughs> just a reminder, I'm 21 weeks pregnant, so I have kind of a weird body shape going on, but hopefully you can still get an idea of what it would look like on you. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will see you tomorrow for FYI Friday. Bye-bye.